Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have installed NFS server on uh, Windows Server 2019 and we have created a share ready to be used. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can use that share. And in order to do that, we need to install and configure the NFS client. So let's do that. So the first thing you need to do is open the server manager. I have it already open here. So I just need to go back to the uh, dashboard. Then click on add roles and features in order to install the uh, NFS client feature. So click on add roles and features. On this uh, screen, select role based or feature based installation, then click next. Select the server you want to install NFS on and then click next. On the server roles page, click next because the NFS client is a feature. So we should find it on the next page. On the select features uh, page, check the client for NFS box and then click next so we need to find a uh, client for NFS it's this one so check the box and then click next on this uh, screen confirm your installation uh, selections and then click next uh, click install to install the NFS client This is probably going to take a few minutes. When the installation finishes, you will see installation succeeded. Click close and you will have finished the installation of the NFS client. Now, now let's try to connect to our uh, NFS share that we have created in the previous tutorial. So what you need to do is open the PowerShell uh, utility as an administrator and execute this command. So the command is mount.exe space uh, the IP address of your uh, server or the server name I'm going to use the IP address and then colon slash the name of your sh of your share if you remember it was my share and then space now we need to use a label uh, for our share let's use the uh, Z label so Z colon backslash now let's hit enter as you can see here Z colon is now successfully connected to 192.168.141 colon slash my share the command completed successfully now let's confirm that the share is in the file manager so let's open the file explorer and check if the share was mounted successfully so as you can see you may need to refresh your file explorer so as you can see I have here my share uh, mounted successfully let's try to access this share by double clicking it and let's try to create a directory let's call it test dir let's try to create a file let's call it test file let's open this file let's type something here save it and close it now let's delete this directory
So as you can see, I am able to use my share uh, successfully. So in conclusion, we have successfully been able to work the NFS client with the NFS server and everything worked uh, as expected. So I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.